The Caldera Spot Color Module. The Caldera RIP software can process spot colors embedded in PostScript, EPS, and PDF files. This video explains the Spot Color Module and shows some common spot color workflows. The Spot Color Processing Module is part of the Print Driver dialog window. By clicking on the color swatch icon, the module opens. Caldera contains popular spot color libraries where the spot color name is linked to a specific LAB value. Here we look at some of the included Pantone libraries. Selecting a Pantone will show the LAB value and a color preview. The search tool will help in finding colors in the respective libraries. More details in one of the following chapters. CMYK libraries with printer, print mode, resolution, and media-specific values can also be created. CMYK libraries have higher priority than LAB libraries. A document containing Pantone colors is dropped into the printer module. The embedded name Pantone colors will be listed. The list shows each embedded Pantone color, indicating it has been found in one of the Pantone libraries. Then it's being mapped into the output ICC profile. The delta E shows if the color is inside or outside the current selected ICC profile. A delta E higher than 3 will typically result in a color mismatch. The current selected Pantone color has been found in the Pantone Color Bridge Library and the LAB value will be used to map the color into the current selected ICC profile. The LAB value will be mapped into the ICC output profile using a color metric rendering intent. The rendering intent can be changed. By changing the media, we change the output ICC profile, and this could result in a higher or lower delta E. Pantone colors which are found in a library will show on the list overview under the LAB section. LIB, short for library. Selecting the color will show which library it's part of. It's possible that a color is found in more than one library. Pantone 627M is part of Pantone Solid Matte, as is Pantone 491M. Pantone 1235PC is found in the Pantone Color Bridge Library. Pantone colors and other spot colors, which are not part of a library, will be using the CMYK input value. The list overview will in that case show ICC under the LAB section. Under the LAB options tab, the input color space profile and rendering intent can be changed. This conversion applies to spot colors not found in one of the libraries. The default setting for the conversion from LAB to the output color space can also be changed. Typically, one leaves the ICC output profile alone. For the rendering intent, one can select Optimized Absolute or Optimized Color Metric, which maximizes the potential gamut of the printer. In this part, we have a file with a custom spot color, and we will assign a measured LAB value using a spectrophotometer. Selecting the spot color and under the details tab, the spectrophotometer icon is clicked. First, we follow the instructions to calibrate the spectrophotometer and then measure the sample color. After measuring the color, the spot color list will show custom instead of ICC. 
Next step would be to add the color to one of the LAB libraries. Custom libraries can be added at will. Now that the measured color is part of a library, the list view under LAB changed from custom to lib, indicating that the custom spot color is now found in the library named default. If you have a color sample and would like to know which library color is the closest match, then you can use the library search tool. First, select the library you would like to search. In this example, the Pantone Plus Solid Coated Library is being searched. Click on the Search Tool button, then click on the Spectro icon, calibrate the Spectro, and perform the measurement. After measuring the sample, it will show the measured LAB value. Clicking the search button will search the library for the closest matching colors. Pantone 144 with a delta E of 2.94 is the closest match. The spot color module can also be used to replace process colors. The option is called direct color substitution. In the following document, the orange number 10 will be changed to green. Using the color picker tool, the color is to be selected. In the list section, the CMYK value of the color will appear. Under the details tab, the custom CMYK value is being assigned. It might be beneficial to assign a custom CMYK value to a library spot color like a Pantone. Either use the default Dynamic Colors Library or create a custom Dynamic CMYK Library. A Dynamic Library takes in account the current printer driver settings like resolution, media, mode, and quality. A static library applies to all printer drivers and print modes so this option is only for special applications. By selecting the spot color and changing its value under the Details tab, we can add the new CMYK value to the Custom Dynamic Library. The new library can also be set as the new default save location. Pantone 115-1-6C will be part of two libraries. The first is the included Pantone LAB library, and the second one is the new custom CMYK library. The list view for the Pantone shows now for LAB and ICC that the color is present in both libraries. The CMYK library takes precedence over the LAB library. Changing the media demonstrates the dynamic behavior. The custom color library will only be applied when the intended resolution, media, mode, and quality apply. To illustrate that Caldera is ignoring the spot color's original CMYK value, we use the Caldera test print. In the file is a Pantone color named Process Blue which is 100% yellow assigned as input CMYK value, which will print yellow when the spot color processing is disabled. With the spot color processing enabled and the color being found in one of the libraries, it will use the library value to map the color. If we disable the library and select ICC, the input CMYK value will be used. Here's the actual printed output, and when the spot color module is enabled, the blue text will appear.
Here we demonstrate how to quickly replace an embedded spot color with another library spot color. Caldera Orange is the embedded spot color which we will replace with Pantone 100C of the solid coated library. Caldera Orange is now mapped to Pantone 100C. Similar to the previous section, but now a process color is being selected and replaced by a library spot color. First, we select the process color using the color picker tool, which will yield an input CMYK value. In the library, we select the desired spot color, and now the process color will be mapped to a spot color. By pressing the Reset button, we get back to the original mapped value. It can be useful to have certain spot colors mapped with a different LAB value than the regular library, while other spot colors will use the regular LAB library's values. In order to do that, create new LAB library, add the desired spot colors, and change the library to a higher priority. In the example, a custom LAB library was already created and two spot colors were added. By selecting the library, a higher priority can be assigned. A higher number means a higher priority. The Apply Rules button will execute the new behavior without having to resubmit the file. The Pantone colors are now present in two libraries and the one with the highest priority will be used. Spot colors will benefit from ICC profiles created with targets of 1400 or more patches. The higher amount of measured patches will help in accurately mapping in-gamut spot colors. The Pantone color output values apply to a 100% spot color as a 50% Pantone color does not exist. Percentages of the spot color will be calculated from the LAB or CMYK output value.